Hi everyone, I'm True Soul, and this is a video of the 2021 Marvel Legends reveals. So yeah guys, we actually got uh, a lot of Marvel Legends news recently. Um, they're going to be coming out with a lot of interesting supervillains, a lot of interesting superheroes, and I thought it would be cool to do a, a video going over some of them. Um, I don't have all of them here to go over. I was mostly going to be focusing on the ones that I was actually interested in buying. But there are some other ones on this list too. And I'm going to go over you know, some of the ones that I got here. Whether or not I'm interested in getting them or not. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into it. Now the first three that I have here on my list are ones that I already pre-ordered. Uh, and that is... The Red Skull, uh, Lady Deathstrike, and I think his name's Scientist Supreme. Now, I, I've heard about the Scientist Supreme coming out, but uh, somehow, oddly enough, Red Skull and Deathstrike, uh, I don't know if they had hinted at them earlier, but when I saw those two, I, I definitely needed them for my villain show. More so, I wanted to get the Scientist Supreme just because he looks cool. Um, I don't even have any AIM agents, so I'm probably going to need to get him some of those. But I really like his uh, yellow armor a lot. Just a very cool aesthetic and really cool figure. So I'm definitely going to have to get that. Deathstrike, on the other hand, was literally, if you guys uh, watch my Marvel Legends uh, wish list, she was on my wish list. And now they're making her. So definitely really happy about that. And, of course, the Red Skull. Uh in that classic green jumpsuit looking thing <laughs> that's kind of the red skull that i'm more used to seeing that's the red skull that i picture in my head whenever i think a red skull so i'm definitely gonna need a red skull to finally go toe to toe with my captain america i'm also gonna need to get him some hydra agents oh I, i've really been skipping out on the army building when it comes to marvel guys but all three of these are on the top of my list in fact and i already pre-ordered them so yeah now the other villains didn't really care so much about them and some of them i didn't even know who they were like for example uh they're supposed to make some guy called the hood i have no idea who that is <laughs> he looks so random and weird and he comes with like two guns and i have no idea if any of you marvel uh connoisseurs out there could kindly tell me down in the comics exactly who this guy is like maybe like what type of superheroes he usually fights and what maybe what comic books he's usually in that would be very helpful um they also revealed arcade which i like arcade a lot but i i didn't even know arcade existed until i played ultimate alliance one i think he's an x-men villain and you know i know a lot of people were really excited when they had first revealed that you know that they were going to make him before they revealed what the action figure looked like. But me personally, i just not really interested in actually having an action figure of Arcade. Great character, just don't feel like having an action figure of him. And uh, they also revealed uh, Dormammu, which I like Dormammu as a character a lot. It's just, I'm not really a fan of his more classic look. I, I kind of like uh, the version of Dormammu that's kind of more like he's wearing like a suit of armor kind of like one that you see in like Marvel vs. Capcom one kind of like that if they made a Dormammu like that I would definitely buy it so I don't really care a whole lot about his classic look but at the same time I was planning on trying to find me a Doctor Strange and Dormammu would go pretty well with Doctor Strange but I'm not sure yet I'll get to that when I get to it. But uh, one thing that I did find was interesting was the Build-A-Figure that they're supposed to be making for the Villain Wave. And a lot of other people that had saw it were kind of like me. They had no idea who this guy was. I'm not even sure how to pronounce his name. I think it's Zenu or whatever. I have no idea who this guy is. <laughs> so... Again, if you guys could uh, maybe, you know, down in the comments, let me know who this guy is. Because I have no idea who he is. Um, that's the one thing about Build-A-Figure waves. Well, just Build-A-Figures in general uh, with Marvel Legends is 
maybe the character's cool maybe they're not but the thing is it never really mattered to me because i'm not gonna buy a bunch of figures that i don't like just to put together a build a figure which is why even when i was little i never did get all the pieces to build a bit uh blah, 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 blah. <laughs> i got tongue tied i never got all the pieces together to build a build a figure <laughs> but we're gonna uh move on from that uh let's see what else did they reveal they also revealed this dr doom i'm not sure what version of dr doom it is i don't know i, I don't is it the because i remember that they had this uh version of dr doom i think it was called like uh what was the name of it god doom or something like that i'm not sure which one it is he seems to have some type of mortal combat thing going on he's literally holding a <laughs> a spine <laughs> Uh, like he did a fatality or something that's kind of funny but i'm probably not gonna get him i am extremely satisfied with the uh, retro dr doom that we had got uh last year so i'm probably gonna pass on that one and definitely what i'm not going to pass on is this nova that they revealed i'm not sure whether or not it's gonna be a walgreens exclusive i kind of hope it's not because it's a little annoying because my Walgreens that I go to, my local ones, sometimes they have the exclusive figures there. And sometimes they don't. So, you know, fingers crossed that I'll some way be able to get this Nova. Because I've been, I've been wanting a Nova for a long time. But I didn't want to get that older one that they made back in the day. Something about that one just looked a little off. Although there is some people that are saying that something looks off about this one, but to each their own. I like it, so I'm definitely going to try to get it. And last but not least, uh, another figure that I wanted to touch on a little bit that I'm a little conflicted about getting is they revealed a Iron Man. I think it's some type of AI Iron Man. Yeah, I think it might be based off the time the comics went around. Because I, I remember in the comics they had made a, a I think Tony Stark had made an AI of himself. I'm not sh sure why exactly. I can't remember if he was in a coma or whatever. But anyway, I really like the classic colors that they got on this Iron Man. Um, the body looks the same as the 80th anniversary Iron Man action figure that I got. But the colors are a lot more classic, more comic book-esque. Uh, and I really like that a lot. Which is why I'm still debating with myself whether or not I should get it. As I really like those colors, but I already have an Iron Man that I'm very happy with, you know. And as I had said before in other videos, I'm usually I'm trying to not get duplicates uh, in terms of characters when it comes to Marvel Legends, just because I want to have like one definitive uh, version of each character for my shelf. But I don't know. Might have to get this Iron Man and switch them out with the other one. But uh. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. I don't think I don't think pre-orders are up yet for this Iron Man, but we'll see. So yeah, guys, uh, those are all the uh, action figures that I want to touch on. I'm pretty sure there are a few more. I think there's supposed to be some type of Captain America Iron Man looking thing. I can't remember what his actual name is. Civil Warrior, I think. And I think they're making a Quasar too, but wasn't really too interested in those ones. Just wanted to focus on the ones that I thought were interesting and whether or not I was going to buy them or not. But that's going to do it for me, guys. Comment down below uh, which of these action figures you are the most excited for. And be sure to follow me on my Instagram as I'll stay updated whenever I have plans to upload a video as well as see exclusive photos that you do not see in my videos. Alright guys, until then, be sure to like, subscribe, and go to my channel to check out other videos. Catch you later.